Good evening, friends. I hope you are doing well. This is Abdul Khu. Welcome back to the Teaching Lab. As you know that I'm keep uploading the uh, ECD pedagogy lessons, and uh, these videos are connected to the 28th August exams. And I have received this feedback from teachers, so I have divided these content into the multiple videos. So today, you can see the background. Uh, I'm sure you understand what exactly uh, the theme is. If not, uh, yes, this is about the pantomimes, pan, uh, pantominos. And my previous videos about the 10 grams, so the both topics are interrelated and they are connected and they are developing the cognitive and critical thinking abilities, especially in mathematics and the problem solving. Is okay. So today I'm going to tell you about uh, the pentaminos and uh, polyaminos and what are these and what are the types of these and, and how these are helping uh, to develop the uh, different skills or moral skills uh, among uh, early childhood and uh, how we can uh, rearrange and form the different shapes as similarly as 10 trans. Okay. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want more videos like that, please press the bell icon. Your comments will be highly appreciated. So kindly uh, support me and uh, I'll be thankful for that. So let's see, uh, I'm going to share the screen and uh, talk about the Pentaminos. So here, a lesson 24 is the Pentaminos, is the pedagogy. So first, I'll tell you what is Pentaminos or what is Pentaminos? Pentaminos is a plain geometric figure formed by joining five equal square age to age. As you remember that in my previous video, uh, which was about the 10 gram, and uh, it's a similar like that, that how these uh, shapes, okay, uh, rearranged and formed the different shapes without overlapping. But here are the, are the uh, just one uh, shape or uh, that's a square. And uh, in each, uh, uh, what we call a figure, uh, we have a different uh, polyamino, which uh, gives the particular structure and it's a particular name for that. Okay. So what uh, exactly it has, you know, when we call the pantominos, that means pant, which is the word, which means the five. And these five squares, they combined together and it gives the uh, particular shape. So now these particular shapes, especially, are the rearrangement and restructure of these squares. Okay. So what are these squares? What are these letters which, and shapes we can form with these pentaminos? Okay. But before that, we have different types of the uh, polyaminos. So let's see what are these, okay? You can see here uh, that we have a, a different uh, shapes here and a different uh, squares and uh, the number of the square in each pictures are uh, various or different. So the mono, which is consisting on one square, uh, dominoes, which is consisting on two square, you can see this picture. Trominoes, which is consisting on three uh, squares, we can make a different shapes from these three squares. Similarly, the pentanomy, pinginos, tetrominos, which is a four square. You can see here by rearranging these, we can form the uh, multiple uh, shapes. Pentominos are the five square, as you can see here, that by rearranging these uh, five square, we can form uh, various uh, shapes. The word polyaminos, polyaminos are to form different shapes for, shapes for joining experts. So poly derived from um, the English word, which is many. So these are the many squares by rearranging the many squares to form particular shape. 
Now, here you can see here the monomio, domino, tromino, right, straight, and tetromino, these are. And what 12 poly, uh, polymino we can form, you can see here. So from these pentamino, we can form the uh, structures, and these are the various shapes of it. So you can see here T, you can see U, you can see F, you can see X, you can see W, V, I, Y, L, N, P, Z. So these are the 12 uh, polyamino of pentaminos that we can uh, uh, form by rearranging these uh, squares. Okay. So how we can remember uh, these things, okay? So the easy way to remember that the word is a Filipino and uh, the other are the ending words of the alphabetic, like T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So you can see here, the structure we can make it, okay? B, Filipino, in order to remember, and the rest of the word, which is the ending letters of the alphabetic. So guys, uh, the main thing, what is the purpose of these uh, pentaminos and how they used in education, especially it is the brain-based activity, which uh, uh, enhance the cognitive skills and critical thinking, uh, problem solving by rearranging and picking. So this is the uh, opportunity uh, to children and uh, this is a really good activity, especially in a math and geometry and area and symmetry uh, exercise, which teacher encourage and assign through these uh, pentominos by uh, assigning a various and different activities. So if you want to develop these skills like uh, mathematics and problem solving skills, so I'll recommend to you that uh, uh, comply the tendram and pentominos. This is the most important thing uh, which has been uh, already given in the last exam of the pedagogy. So I hope that you uh, like this video and that will be very useful for you for upcoming uh, tests. Okay, so stay connected, stay based, and I'm, I'm sure it's gonna help you again. If you didn't subscribe to Teaching and Learning, please subscribe with again. For more videos, press the bell icon. We'll be meeting in the next lesson. Thank you so much, stay blessed, and stay connected.